years since Tucker Hips, a Clemson student, was found dead after a run with his fraternity brothers. And this morning, his parents are hosting a prayer vigil to honor their son and National Hazing Prevention Week. It started about 45 minutes ago. Rochelle Spence, she is live there in Clemson this morning. Is that, are people still there? Well, Tracy, it is just about wrapped up. We've got a few lingerers out here this morning continuing that prayer. I just talked to Cindy Hips a couple of moments ago, and she told me it's almost ironic that this anniversary is falling in National Hazing Prevention Week, and that's part of the reason why she felt so compelled to invite people out here this morning. Take a look at when this all kicked off right around 545, about 30 people out here huddled around that cross. Now, we mentioned National Hazing Prevention Week, and the reason that's tied to this, you may remember the family believes Tucker was forced to walk along this bridge that, and that some of his fraternity members maybe helped cover his his death. That was never proven. They've since settled with the university for $250,000. But meanwhile, her son's death has sparked statewide change. The Tucker Hips Transparency Act requiring public colleges in South Carolina to post any Greek life misconduct violations publicly online. And this is going to be everything from hazing to alcohol, drugs, sexual or physical assault. Now, Clemson has told us there has been a significant decrease in recent years years and the hips family just so unbelievably proud of that and hoping the transparency act will continue that for years to come so a few people still out here this morning just talked to his mother cindy and we're going to have that for you coming up on daybreak but for now we are live in clemson rochelle spence seven news yeah somber morning there thank you rochelle